This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on the Python version of the course, and I'm on the final maze. If you're doing that as a class, this is Introduction to Computer Science, level 17. Goals. Your hero must survive, defeat the ogres, navigate the maze, under 10 statements, and collect the gems. And it looks like under 10 statements, we're going to have to use a loop. But let's see. Start. And remember, Hashtag means it is a comment. The computer skips that, but it is for us to read. So use a wall true loop, yep, to both move and attack. So wall true, and anything indented is what gets repeated. So let's see here. I'm going to start out by moving right, and then up. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to try naming this guy. Now, that means I'm going to make a variable. To do that in in Python, all you have to do is write whatever you want to name the variable equals and what that variable is now going to represent. So if I say hero find nearest enemy, this is the new name of that enemy. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, well, Fred as my variable. You might use X or Sky or the letter T, it doesn't matter, equals, and what's Fred going to equal? Well, hero, look around and find. So our hero is going to look around, whoever is closest, their new name is Fred. And that means we're going to want to attack Fred. Is this an ogre or a munchkin? I think it's a munchkin, which would be one hit. Um, let's find out. I'm going to hit run. So, hero, attack, oh! Whoops, I gotta replace this, because I didn't use enemy, I used Fred as my variable. And variables don't need to be in quotes for attack. Oh, nope, our enemy is not a munchkin, and then needs another hit. Fred gets hit twice, and then let's go ahead and try... We need to get the gems, so let's move down. And down. Oh, well, if I'm going to go down twice, let's put the number two here. Once and twice. Hmm. But then it would repeat to move right. So if I go down once, twice, and move right, that's a wall. Let's add up and see what happens. Run. Move right, move up, name. Uh-oh, what did I skip here? Find nearest enemy, attack, and attack. Oh! After attack, I need to go right again. Let's try this. And remember, it has to be indented like this to be in the loop. Up, attack, attack, right, down once, down twice, up. Oh, did that do it? And then we're going to repeat. Right, up once, find enemy, he named... We're naming that enemy Fred now too. Attack twice. Move right. Go down once. Go down twice. Go up. And see how this is Fred? I bet now that we're going right and up, we're going to see this enemy and boom. Now this is Fred because the nearest enemy is then Fred. Down. And this guy is no longer Fred because we changed it to that one. Up and right. And we did it. Awesome.